In this video, we're going to show you how to properly address and set up port assignments on the MXZC hyperheat units that utilize our branch box. Before you begin, remember that all of the settings of the branch box and the outdoor unit need to be made while the power is off. Please ensure that all power to the system is turned off before you begin. Everything with the address structure starts with the ports used on the branch box and more specifically, the first or the lowest port used. To keep things simple, start with the zones attached to the lowest port, which would be port A. Then go in sequential order, trying to avoid skipping any ports. For every zone that you have hooked up, you'll need to turn on the corresponding dip switch on SW1. If you're using ports A, B, C, and D, you'll turn on numbers one, two, three, and four on dip switch SW1. Turning on the corresponding dip switch will let the system know that there is a unit attached to that port. Once you set the port assignments via SW1, it's time to address the branch box using the two rotary dials. These dials are labeled SW12 and SW11. The branch box gets addressed in the range of 01 to 50. Our suggestion is to address the branch box as 01, keeping it fluid with our previous port assignment structure. Keep in mind though, this may change with more complicated systems. In order to set the branch box to 01, you'll need to set SW12 to 0 and move SW11 to the 1 position. If you're using a second branch box, you'll pick up where you left off with the first branch box's address structure and port assignments. For example, if you address the first branch box as 01 and you used all five ports, your second branch box would start with address 06. Once you have addressed the branch box, move on to the outdoor unit. In this video, we address the branch box as 01, which means you'll address the outdoor unit as 51. To do that, you'll set your rotary dial SWU2 to 5 and SWU1 to 1. For additional information on equipment startup and addressing, please feel free to visit our website at www.mylinkdrive.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for future episodes of Tech Tips.